A spotlight has been on horse racing as the public plays closer attention to deaths at racetracks, including the devastating winter season that left dozens of horses dead at Santa Anita. News 8's Alicia Summers joins us now with what the industry is doing to try and maintain a positive image. Alicia? Well, horse racing has traditionally been seen as fun and innocent. Some degree of injury is expected with any professional sport. But to a growing number of people, recent tragedies are changing the image of horse racing. The 30 thoroughbred deaths in Santa Anita and the fatal collision in Del Mar Thursday between racehorses Charge a Bunch and Carson Valley has helped gallop home a storm of bad publicity. The two deaths at, at Del Mar yesterday were freak accidents, but in, in the eyes of many in the public, it's just two more deaths related to horse racing. Public relations consultant Jeff Martston says he started to see a drop in support a few years ago. Four or five years ago, the, the, the Kentucky Derby winner broke his leg out of the gate at the Preakness. Horse trainer and owner Kim Mars. We want these horses to go out there and compete, be safe, and we want them coming back home to us. She says Del Mar is a safe track. In the safety consciousness of the racetracks has always been there. I mean, that that's first and foremost. Uh, they want the horses, obviously, not to get injured or hurt because that's not what we're about. A spokesperson for the track says it had seven deaths last year, and in 2016, it had 12 deaths. So why does it seem that more people are noticing now? I think social media is playing a major role in why people are more aware of it. Some information. Animal rights groups argue that some thoroughbreds are overbred and slaughtered. Witnesses have reported seeing steeds drugged with banned substances to increase performance before grand races and given painkillers to make them impervious. Mars says that is not true. We are allowed to use race day medication, which is Lasix right now, and there is a um, systematic format where they're going to downplay it. We are at a, a minimum on that. It's no secret this sport involves high gambling stakes and a lot of pressure to win. Now more people are looking at it in a different way. It may be that the spotlight is now more on the industry, and the industry understands this. The industry understands that they're now under a microscope. And as education is key to changing any image, and typically Del Mar has done a good, good job with that, explaining to the public what they're doing to fix any problems. Barbara Lee. Alicia, thank you.